Pisces are born from November 30th to December 17th. Check your Chiron placement to see where you may resonate with this reading. And thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. If you like a person to reading, information is linked down below in the description box next to the butterfly. What does Ophetius' ancestors, holy guardian angels, and spirit guides of the light wish to tell Ophetius? Let's see. It's an owl. It's an owl. So, owls represent wisdom and a sense of awareness. And that leads to magic happening. Because when you become aware that your imagination be can become your reality, you then realize you are God. And this is a very introspective feeling because it's night. It's a nocturnal creature, right? It's a nocturnal creature. Seeing through the dark, right? Seeing through the unseen. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, what will happen in Ophelius' future that they should know? You're stronger than you know. What will happen in your future that you should know is you have thought and you have letter. Okay. So there is a letter being sent. Someone is sending a letter to they're sending a letter to a feminine energy. My nose is itchy when I just said that. There's eight letters in the name. And six letters in the last name. So this is Gemini. This is also Venus and Leo energy. This is a love letter. This can even be like a, a form of communication. Telling someone how you feel. Something that has been on someone's mind, okay? This is a love that's watched over from above. This may also be like you work together or you run a business together for some of you. This is also like um, a very strong connection the minor part of the empress. So a lot of you do not have children, but you're healthy. So you may be single for some of you, or a lot of you take extremely good care of your body. Okay? You're getting some form of communication. Um, this is also like a relationship where if one person dies, the other person will not remarry. This is also fame. I feel like this is um, somebody's making like a public declaration of love. Like someone's making a declaration of love in public. They've been preparing this, writing it out, trying to figure out the right way to do this, driving themselves a little crazy. You also see um, there is a sense of innocence about it because it's white and then the red is passion. And there is a sense of confidence um, an awareness of uh, the passion, the desire to take action on something that you know will make you very happy. This is um, a decision from the heart, a decision from the heart. Okay. It's very public. As I said that, Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. Future for There's a skull here. Time doesn't exist. There's also like a something that's keeping time. Right? It's something keeping time, but like time doesn't even exist. So I feel like someone's rushing to try to communicate to someone, like rushing. Rushing. Because time like because 
They feel dead inside. As if they're dead inside. Because they now have deep, profound knowledge about how they feel. Yeah. And there's the Queen of Swords. And there's the Three of Pentacles. There's been a lot that has not been said. There's a secret love here. And a realization of what will make you really happy. Okay. Okay. You're moving in with somebody or you're moving into a new home in the next 11 days. Congratulations. Okay. It's very pretty. It's also, um, if someone's pregnant, it's a girl. I feel like you're going to the doctor to find out the gender, and it's a girl, okay? Mm -hmm. Your doctor might be a woman, or be, have very feminine um, essence, okay? So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You've got the Three of Wands, Sun and Aries, the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn and Mars. Mars and Capricorn. And you have the Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. You have the Four of Wands, Venus and Aries. Hidden energy that you do not see. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. So Pisces, some Mars, and Aquarius, you could Gemini. So I see. Um, somebody getting a painful medical treatment in the next 11 days. I'm also seeing a lot of you are public speakers. You're also standing up for what you believe. You could be like an activist or a humanitarian or you, pub you have to publicly speak in your work like on a podium, okay? Um, you're doing a very like feminine job. Something about um, getting more tools, getting more tools. All right. Now what's funny is from the front you see this very the Queen of Swords has been through many battles. She's extremely intelligent and always honest, always, even if it can be painful. Um. She holds the sword of truth. This could be a lawyer. This could be a doctor, police officer, a sheriff. Okay? It's going to be someone who works in the government, someone who works in the military, a professional, whatever it is that they do, a doctor, um, health specialist. You may be divorced or you're a single mother or a single mother. Some of you work online or with technology. Okay, or in your neighborhood. I see you getting into a, a hobby, like a creative hobby, okay? That's really cool. There's a love offer coming in towards you in the next 11 days. Someone's apologizing towards you in the next 11 days, okay? What's behind? Is this frostiness, right? This ice, almost like what's what's in the ice? Ice, ice, baby. What's in the ice, right? And if you look, you know, the ice had to get there in some way from emotions, from the fact that emotions, when you open up the um, willingness to have energetic space for good emotions, Right, you're also going to be honest that there's sometimes you're going to have bad emotions or lukewarm emotions or emotions, right? There's going to be all different types of emotions that build you to be, you know, who you are, to have a truth, right? This is about having an emotionally fulfilling truth. 
This is about being very independent, cutting out what doesn't need to be there, and putting up boundaries as well. I see you have a lot of threes, which means that there's a sense of mastery coming in here. You could also be planning travel, sun and Aries, Capricorn and Mars. Um, there is, a, you could be going to school, this can be apprenticeship. Hold in like a sense of um, emotional passion. Emotional passion. And planning travel. Starting a long distance travel relationship or romance, starting a long distance relationship, traveling outside of the country. I'm also seeing like um, working as a team, okay, to move this forward. And they're not being um, other people involved because there's union here, Venus and Aries, and you have uh, Leo and Mars here, the seven of wands. So standing up for yourself, overcoming the battle, right? And if you look, it's like good and bad because it's like evil and it's like good, but it's like we, you know, determine and we judge and we say something's bad and we say something's good. Right? Well, the truth is there is a polarity. So this is accepting the good and bad within yourself. Allowing yourself to be able to accept others. You're also moving into a new home or you're building a home, building a business. You could be planning a wedding. Okay? Planning a wedding. Some of you are defending a property or an estate. The hidden energy that you don't see is there is it's like a cloud. It's like a cloud where the truth of how you've seen love is about settling, right? For less than you deserve. This can be like um Relationships where there's always arguments. Okay, child abuse, child neglect, a messy breakup. The, the way that you view love is changing. Because you're now realizing how you've been thinking about it. Has been based off of what you have already experienced. What people have um, publicly recognized you for your friends have talked about, you accept it as a truth at some point, and that developed your truth about love, right? You know, I myself, I get readings as a part of my training as a professional astrologer. I didn't realize how terrified I was of the idea of being in relationships and connections that oh you may get married and then you separate or you get married and you get divorced or you get married and you're not even happy and you're settling right and then there's a then there's a, a cycle that begins and when i was told that i wouldn't do that that that's not in my chat that's not in my future i realized how much i have been living in fear about love that it's not just about the imagination, the Piscean energy, but to take action on the imagination and to realize that there is a, a sense of psychological death, right? In order to develop new truth about one's own worth, one's own value, what is one deserving of? The, the sense of detachment that is built off of one's fear of their dreams coming true and then the potential of you being able to lose that, right? Because you're not perfect or because of this or coulda or shoulda or woulda, right? This is about you standing above that, building a brand new foundation because now you have a, a new truth that is emotionally fulfilling and allows in love. Okay, there's a, like a, someone is making a, 
an emotional declaration of love. It's very public as well. Uh, standing above the rest, this person will like stand above the rest because of how bold they are. Okay. It will be an offer that you like. I do see that. And there is, um, if you own a business, it's going to be very profitable. Very profitable. You're also very focused on self. This is a lot of self-love. The energies that that are like, um, there's going to be an energy that approaches you that is different than all of the rest. Not forceful, not um, emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative, or uh, cocky, or trying to get, it's not going to be, it's not going to be about them just wanting your attention to fulfill how they feel to validate themselves. Because they see that you have value and worth. And they want your attention and stuff like that. But it, it'll be bigger than that. It's about being, wanting to, to be around you. I love you. I care for you. But this is only because this is something that you already have truth of now for yourself. There's a lot of um, dove energy here as well. A lot of peace. A lot of peace. And releasing of the ego. If you're, you could be in a relationship where you pretend to be much happier than you really are. You guys are not actually happy though. You just pretend to be happy to other people. So there's like an unspoken truth, right? An unspoken truth. An unspoken truth. All right. Very interesting. Somebody is like being very direct and honest, like I'm in love with you. Say suppose. I'm in love with you. It happens in the next eleven days. For a lot of you this will happen. Almost like someone is realizing that they even if there are many people, they want you. Okay? This is gently teaching both of you to love yourselves. And at the same time, you guys both believe in relationships and desire a relationship. Know how to have one. It'll be happening in the next 11 days. There's a secret love here. Somebody secretly in love with somebody. It's a secret though. Okay? It's a secret. Okay. So, regarding your career and financial future. Ooh, my ears are ringing. The universe will meet all of the needs that you actually have. So just consider having like a money altar, okay? Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. Make an offering, okay? Okay. Some of you, this is like, I see like a love letter. It's something, like someone has not been saying that they've been unhappy without you. And so now that is being said. Somebody is trying to tell you that they love you, they miss you. Okay. Whoever this is a single too, very single. I feel like a family could be arguing. There could be a family arguing. What is officious too afraid to say? What is officious too afraid to say? You may have also been cheated on. I'm seeing you in a whole new light. 
Confucius is too afraid to say that I am seeing you in a whole new way. Okay? So you're seeing someone in a, in a brand new way that you've never seen them before. Right? Sort of like catching you off guard. Like, oh my gosh. You're strong. You're independent. You do a job you love. Some of you are learning to, to teach. Okay? There's a secret love, though. It's a secret. Yeah. Secret. It's a secret. A lot of you are moving on after an ending as well. Yeah, you're having a heart chakra awakening. Heart chakra awakening. All right. Very fascinating. <sighs> Also something here about a mother, could be an absentee mother or an abusive mother or an ability to have children or a smothering mother. Yeah. Okay. There's also a severing of ties. There could be a rape, a murder, a crime, a divorce, or a breakup happening. Like a severing of ties due to manipulation and mind games. You may be severing ties with people in order to make energetic space for love, for someone you love. Okay. This has been your reading. You are, someone's also traveling overseas. Mercury, of course, my ears are ringing. Someone's traveling overseas. All right. This has been your reading. And if you like the voice of the information, in the description box down below. Nice to be butterfly. I'll say. Thank you.